we just got new coffee beans from a place we haven't tried before. <laughs> what even is my life? Sorry, as I was saying, um, yeah, we got new coffee beans from a different place this time. And I feel, I don't know if anyone else struggles with this if you have an at-home coffee machine, but I feel like it takes us a good 10 goes before we find the right grind again. Um, so it tastes a little bit bitter this morning, but whatever gets the caffeine in my veins. I was having my cutie little mug from Custard Cream. Beautiful. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. And if you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Ella. I'm 27. I do a lot of lifestyle content, vlogs, as well as personal finance and money related videos. So if any of that is your vibe, definitely subscribe. This week, I thought I'd bring you guys along for another week in my life with a bit of a twist. This week, we're challenging ourselves to have a no spend week. Now, I want to do this for a couple of reasons. One being... I love a challenge. I'm a very competitive person by nature and anything that requires any sort of self-reflection, self-improvement, like I'm all there. I also hate failing. So if I set my mind to something, like I'm gonna do it. And secondly, it's almost the end of the month. We have about a week left of March and we are so close to being under budget. I really do not want to go over this month, at least not with our variable discretionary expenses. Like, do I need to go buy three coffees out this week? Like, no. If it means I can stick under budget, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it happen. I also think having no spend days, no spend weeks, no spend months. I had a low spend month last September and it just taught me a lot. It's such a nice financial reset. It just forces you to really reevaluate your values and what your money values are. Like what is important to you? What do you want to spend your money on? And so yeah, something like this, just to have a financial reset, curb some of that habitual spending and then put that extra money towards debt payoff, which is really our main focus right now. So yeah, um, it's going to be a fun week. I also just wanted to bring you guys along. It's going to be like a normal week in my life vlog. You guys know the drill, but I'll share what we spend our money on. Hopefully nothing. Um, there are two exceptions, which are like needs. First is groceries. Obviously we still need to eat. We usually go grocery shopping on a Monday and then sometimes we'll do like a second little stock up on the weekends or like towards the end of the week. Um, so I'll bring you guys along for that. Show you what we buy, the meals that we cook. And then the second thing is petrol because obviously we still need to get from A to B. So cheers to that. I'm excited to bring you guys along. Let me know if you guys have had a no spend week before and how it went, or maybe this is your sign to do one as well. I was just looking at my budget this week and I just saw so many random little purchases that like didn't need to be made. <laughs> I intentionally challenged us to have a very low spend month this month. And I feel like for the most part, we've been pretty good about sticking to budget. I feel like this is really where we need to knuckle down and stop the spending, stop the frivolous, silly spending. This probably looks like the saddest lunch ever, but we're having a cheese and crisp sandwich. If you know, you know. We got these crisps from Audi. I saw someone talk about them on TikTok. The Blackstone truffle and olive ones. So good. Here it is. My sad little cheese crisp sandwich. <laughs> it's not Dante's, is it? We've got it Dante's. Babe, we're trying to have a toast family. I don't know how to make this any more clearer. I like the crunch though. There's just something about it, like the simplicity of cheese, yeah. bread, and crisps. I like a grilled cheese. With crisps? I would have the crisps on the side. There's just something about it. I wish I had Branson pickle. In more exciting news, do you want to make an announcement? About crickets finished, guys. Uh Nick just finished his last cricket game of the season. Undefeated. I'm pretty stoked about it just because I get my husband back. <laughs> It is 5 p.m. on the first day of our little challenge and we're already making purchases, but we have to pick up some strawberries and banana for breakfast tomorrow because we're all out of fruit. 
And then since we're not spending any money this weekend, we're going to have a little movie night in. Kind of bending the rules a little bit here, but we got some fruit salad, plus jellies, and some Kim Tans. All of this was on sale. Literally came to $11.33, which is not too bad. We also went for a nice walk along the beach. I feel like the weekends are when we probably spend the most money. Yeah, so and the temptation was real, like walking past the coffee shops or Yochi, like the temptation to grab a coffee or a frozen yogurt was high. Or dinner. Can we really be bothered cooking right now? Not really. We have the groceries in our fridge. We're just going to do it. Mondays are our grocery shopping day so we just went to the shops. We actually spent I think like $170 in total but a good $30 of that was Easter egg chocolate for our family because it's Easter this week. So let me show you guys. Again Audi was out of like basically everything. I feel like that's been the case the last couple of times. So this is a mix of Audi and also Lily. We got some iceberg lettuce, carrots, some frozen bassa which this will last us fill it through here. The only thing it says it's just a kilo so this will last us a few dishes. And I'll have somewhere on the screen what meals we're cooking this week just to give you guys an idea. Uh, we've got some orange juice. We've got three of the Wicked Sister high protein puddings. We've got some boccaccini. I like having this for lunch. Some chicken breast schnitzels also for lunches and salads and things. And then we got some pork and beef mints for tacos and then just some sausages because I'm making curried sausage tonight. Also got a whole bunch of bananas for our banana berry smoothies, some broccolini. Which, why does broccolini taste so much better than broccoli? Nick and I were having this discussion because Audi were out of like broccolini and everything. And we're like, oh, what if they only have broccoli? What a travesty that would be. Also some alfalfa sprouts for lunch. I like having that on avocado toast just for some extra crunch. Um, This I've never tried. It was on sale at Woolies. Tiffany's Kitchen Feisty Capsicum. We got a whole bunch of carrots. I literally only need like one or two for my curried sausages tonight. So I was like, what am I going to do with all these extra carrots? Bit of dip. Sausage. Also got two gigantic avocados. I really don't think, like I have nothing for scale. A Chobani yogurt. Like look, look at the size of it. I have a big head huge so i got two of those also got four of the chobani squeezy yogurts these are on sale got three raspberry and a banana we got a zucchini i think everything else oh tacos we got a kombucha each because these were also on sale kind of an unnecessary purchase but we like to pick these up from time to time when they're on special and then i think everything else in this bag is straight chocolate and we got some mixed berries strawberries right oh no some raspberries that are all smushed, no. And then little Twix, because I'm about to get my period. And this is like my one true craving. Got some sponges, chicken stock. We got two things of soy milk. Needed small garlic. Three pouches of the pumpkin soup. I love this for lunch. It's spicy pumpkin, it's actually quite spicy. Got some apples, oats, a can of tuna, and then just some spud light potatoes. And that is it. That is our grocery haul this week. So we spent a total of, I think it came to $84.41 at Woolies, but then I had a $10 reward savings voucher with my points. So it was actually only $74.41. And then whatever remaining at Audi. Not too bad, all things considered. We did probably spend what, like 16, 12, 
yeah, like 30, 35 dollars on Easter egg chocolate. I also got some shampoo as well, the L'Oreal LV Bond Repair. It's sulfate free. I've never tried this one before, but it was on sale. And you know me, I love a special. I'm gonna put all of this stuff away now and then start cooking dinner. Nick has a cricket committee meeting tonight, so he's gonna head off now. I'm gonna cook dinner. He'll just have to eat when he comes home, I guess. <laughs> I feel like Mondays are always like such busy days for us. I was just looking at my receipt and I cannot believe how much money we saved from our shop. $30.30 from an $80 shop. I've talked about this before, but we will rarely buy anything full price unless it's like fresh produce. Even then we just buy whatever's on sale, like seasonal fruits and veggies. But anything else, any pantry essential, we'll wait until it goes on sale or we'll shop around the sales. So if I know I want to cook a certain thing, like something with chicken breast, I'll wait until the chicken breast goes on sale. It's a little bit different with Audi, but with Willys or Coles especially, that's usually what we'll do. And we saved $30.30. .30. Just from doing that today. Crazy. I just got the coolest PR package in the mail. Firstly, this packaging. It's like a little pizza box. It's so cute. It's the go-to and their 10 year anniversary. I love this. So creative. They've got like a little timeline of all their products. I love the face hero, but I've never tried any of the other products. So I'm excited. <laughs> it's just gone past four o'clock. I've just wrapped up with work for the day, took a shower, washed my hair. One thing, I've been writing actually down my key takeaways from this little challenge, which I'll run through in a moment. But one of the biggest ones I've noticed is just how much more productive I am. Like I got so much done today. I did a bunch of editing, emails, content planning. I filmed like three short form videos for TikTok and Instagram and it's only four o'clock. I'm feeling on top of the world, really. Yeah, just like how much stuff I'm able to get done without the temptation of spending money. And I guess like that, distraction more than anything a lot of the things that i would choose to do outside of the house cost money that's just like the fact of the matter there's not a ton of no spend activities that you can do it's forced me to stay home and get stuff done and it's kind of nice i also finished planning our u.s trip officially i did our last bookings for that which is exciting i'm just waiting for nick to finish work and then we're gonna go take the dogs for a walk cook dinner and then i'm going for another walk with my best friend olivia just to catch up and debrief i haven't seen her since we went to the cook islands which was like two weeks ago and i feel like i lost a limb after coming home from that trip spending a week straight with your bestie there's really nothing quite like it but yeah just thought i would say hi check in with you guys um i'll run through the key takeaways that i've noted down so far first one is i miss buying coffee <laughs> this is no secret that coffee is our kryptonite like that is the one thing that we enjoy spending our money on it's not even the actual taste of the coffee because we have a great coffee machine we make a great coffee and i do enjoy that process that's relaxing and almost therapeutic in its own way but the act of going to your local coffee shop where they know you they know your order picking up a coffee going for a walk just like that whole experience really warms my soul and so I've been missing our local. Also just going out and trying new coffee shops as well. That's like one of our favorite things. It's the experience of it all that I am missing right now, more than the caffeine and the actual taste of the coffee. Second is, I've already touched on this, but a lot of the time we'll go out and consequently spend money as a way of avoiding and procrastinating our responsibilities, like cleaning or doing the laundry, doing life admin tasks. That is like our form of procrastination. Oh, let's go out. Let's go for brunch somewhere. Let's go to the movies. And then we put off doing those tasks that we just don't want to do. So doing the no spend challenge over the weekend, we managed to get a ton of stuff done. Like we did a full deep clean of the house, which set us up for such a good week. I think as well, it's really easy to spend out of convenience. For instance, Friday night rolls around. It's been a long week. Neither of you feel like cooking dinner and you'll just order takeaway. Like we are so guilty of doing that and doing a no spend week really highlights those convenient things. Even just like, this is one that we don't fall into the trap of, but I can see how it'd be so much easier when you're doing your grocery shop to just go to Woolies or Coles rather than going to Audi and then having to go to Woolies or Coles. Cause the truth is like Audi is, it doesn't have everything. Going to the two shops isn't always the most convenient thing, but in the long run, it can save you a lot of money. One thing that we've been trying to do is cut back on our takeaway spending as a whole. One of the ways we've been trying to do that is planning our meals strategically. So on a Friday or Saturday, when we know that we probably won't be bothered cooking, but we don't want to order takeaway, we'll plan a meal that is easy, quick, and super tasty. So we'll want to cook it. So something like tacos or like a quick pasta dish. That's been one way that we've been trying to combat the takeaway spending because that is something that is just so convenient so easy but just adds up so quickly so yeah those are my insights so far i will let you guys know if i think of anything else as we continue on with the week i can't believe it's already tuesday where is this week going 
Good morning, you guys. I've just finished getting ready. I'm wearing this blue top today. I feel so powerful in this color. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I'm giving off girl boss energy. Anyway, I'm filming my April reset today, which I cannot believe it's already that time of the month again. I feel like the months just keep flying by, but yeah, I'm wearing this cute top, leggings on bottom, obviously. Am I gonna film? Hey, my boo, do you wanna see grandma and grandpa? <gasps> Let's go! It has been a productive afternoon of filming. I filmed my April reset. It's already, well, I still need to edit it, but it will be ready to go tomorrow night. And now we're in the car on the way to see my parents, who I haven't seen in like almost a month because I went away to the Cook Islands and then before I got home, they went to Japan for three weeks. So we're on our way to go pick them up. I'm excited to see them and hear all about their trip been a um slow journey to the airport flying from the car forever but we've got Mimi in the back how are you feeling usually you have so much to say i feel like she gets camera shot I, th I think she gets rattled when the music's not on she's like um guys my tunes please my tunes she needs a serenity song <laughs> I feel like we're the only people that think this, but I think Mabel has a Serenity song. Mabel's Serenity song is, uh, what's it called? Hole Again by Atomic Kid. Yep. It's what we played a lot when she was a puppy and when we were bringing her home for some reason. Just by coincidence. We were and into Atomic Kid. if she's ever feeling some kind of way, we just pop it on and she's, she's all good. Quiet her right down. Thank you. Maple. Maple. It's just lovely and, and such an, a good experience. And the people. Hello, my darling. I quarter past 10 I've just wrapped up a meeting and it's been a productive day so far I woke up immediately started editing because I have my April reset that I want to finish editing and upload tonight so got stuck into that I find I'm definitely the most productive first thing in the morning as soon as like two o'clock hits I'm done I'm done for the day my energy levels are in an all-time low sometimes i'll have like a second coffee just to get me through keep me going but i'm definitely the most productive first thing when i have that that natural energy so yeah made the most of it came up here I'm editing from my desk which i kind of alternate between my desktop or my laptop um just depends on my mood i find that i edit more of the vlogs on my laptop for some reason i think because i'm usually importing the footage at the end of the day doing a bit of editing as i kind of go throughout the week so it's nice to have it on my laptop where sit down videos or just like longer more produced videos i prefer doing on the big screen and just like sitting down knocking them out getting them done i've also set an alarm for 2 30 p.m today because i need to log on and get this reservation for this place i want to go to in boston apparently reservations go within a couple of hours of opening up at 12 it's 12 a.m boston time is when they're released which is like 2 30 adelaide time so i've set an alarm for that it's this place called beacon hill books and cafe if you guys look it up it literally looks like the cutest place you can go there without a reservation but they have like a high tea afternoon tea experience and i really want to do it like could you imagine this cutie little bookshop having a high tea in boston like Okay, sign me up. So I'm gonna try and get a reservation for that. Fingers crossed. I will keep you guys updated. I'm imagining this to be like Taylor Swift ticket energy, which we all know how that went. So not well, <laughs> not well at all. Also guys, we had a slip up. I'm trying not to view it as a failure because this is literally just a silly little challenge I've set myself. It is a privilege to do a no spend challenge. It is a privilege to have money to spend every week. I know there are so many people out there, especially with this cost of living crisis that are literally living paycheck to paycheck. It is such a privilege to have money left over at the end of the week that's not going towards bills or debt. It is a privilege to do a challenge like this and to do a no spend challenge. I don't wanna see it as, oh, we failed. Let's just go spend money and just give up on this and not upload. 
upload this video. I'm committed. We've learned a lesson. It really came down to just like poor preparation. You guys saw we went and picked up my parents from the airport. Their plane landed at just before six. Then we went back, dropped them off, had to go pick up Lily, drop Lily off. And then obviously we hung around, caught up with my parents because I hadn't seen them in like a month. And then by the time we left, it was like eight, 8.30, I want to say. And we still hadn't had dinner. I mean, yes, did we have the ingredients sitting in our fridge? Could we have spent half an hour cooking dinner? Yes. Instead, we chose convenience, which has been a key takeaway. Like, I don't, I don't think you realize like how much money you spend out of convenience. Sometimes it's just a quick, easy option. Takeaway is like one example of that. Anyway, we ended up spending 31.65 on dinner last night. Nick also had to go pick up some garbage bags and more milk. That's a, another thing because we haven't been buying coffee. We've been going through our milk so much more. So we had to go buy another couple of liters of milk. That was 15.50 the total came to at Coles. So that is our little slip up, a little moment of weakness. We're recognizing it, we're acknowledging it, and we're moving on. I can't believe tomorrow's our last day of this no spend challenge. I feel like it's gone so fast. Other than last night, I think we've done a pretty good job. I realized I hadn't ended off this vlog. This feels very full circle because I'm pretty sure I'm wearing the exact same outfit I was wearing at the beginning of this video. But it is the end of the week. We successful, semi-successfully completed our no spend challenge. And I have some final results. So our total spend for the entire week, groceries, and then also our little minor slip up was $214.10. 31.65 of that was obviously our takeaway and then the rest was grocery. So I think we spent about, what would that be? Like $182-ish on groceries, which is definitely more than we normally spend. Usually I try and budget about 150 a week, but at least 30, 35 dollars of that was on Easter stuff. So it kind of makes sense. That it was a little bit more. Definitely went through milk a lot faster because we weren't buying coffee. That was like very... <laughs> humbling definitely love sticking with our monday weekly food shops going to audi trying to get as much as we can and then going to woolies or coles to get whatever else they don't have which has been a lot recently i feel like audi is so out of stock which is annoying but i feel like the more frequently we do our little stops to grab a couple of things the more we spend it's really easy to just go in to grab one thing and then come out with something else that you don't necessarily need because it's on sale or like I don't know, you have a craving or whatever. But all in all, I think it was a success. This is definitely the financial reset that we needed just to remind us of our money values. Coffee is definitely one of them. Not everyone's gonna understand that. And that is, you know, I get it. Everyone has their thing. If we ever needed to, we could definitely cut it out. I know that obviously we've done this and we've done it in the past, but for right now, it's definitely something that we enjoy. And I think, you know, it's all, it's such a balancing act between wanting to save money, wanting to save for your financial future and make good financial decisions. And then also just enjoy your life, which is really like what my channel is about. is like that crossroad between being financially responsible, but also living a life of enjoyment and still being able to travel and go out and just enjoy even the little things doing something like like this and forcing yourself to not spend money just I think it was a good reminder of what really is important you don't need to spend money to still live an enjoyable life we had a great week regardless we we're a lot more productive because we didn't have any other temptation outside of the house I found and also just like challenging us to do no spend activities like what can we do outside of the house I would love to know what your favorite no spend or low spend activity is I felt like we were outside a lot more going for walks spending good quality time together which was really lovely so yeah lots of good that came from this uh, definitely forced us to reevaluate. yeah what's important to us and just remind us of the why like why are we doing this why are we trying to cut back in certain areas why are we continuing to budget what is the greater purpose of this and i think when you have your why at the center of everything you do it really makes things so much easier and for us right now our why is for our future selves and our future financial future setting ourselves up setting our future family up while we're still relatively young <laughs> so yeah it was a very enlightening exercise definitely the little reset we needed and i'm feeling good about it we spent just over 200 dollars, and i would typically budget 500 600 dollars a week so we quite literally spent half if not a third of what we normally spend and with that extra money we can put that straight towards our financial goals and our financial future which right now is paying off any consumer debt so it definitely works like not only was this a valuable enlightening exercise but it, we quite literally saved a ton of money as well so definitely want to do more no spend days weeks even months just to get that extra leg up that we might need to reach our goals because i am one determined gal except when it comes to a cheeky takeaway apparently <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for coming along for this little week in my life no spend challenge i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and i really 
really appreciate it more than you know. Also follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok as well if you guys want to see more short form content about personal finance, lifestyle stuff. I definitely want to start vlogging more in like a short form capacity as well. I have such an exciting month coming up so I'm excited to bring you guys along for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye guys!